me to stretch it to you. And the reason I said Marie, by the way, is not because I, you know, I think of her. I'm thinking of all the names that we use. There weren't that many, but I, I personally, she was mom most of the time. But she was mom at other times. And she, whenever she was mom, it was mom! <laughs> it wasn't, it was, that, it was like a, but what I heard all the time was Marie. And when I would hear somebody else say Marie, there was always something in their voice. There was always a mercy and a love because they understood her heart. They knew what was going on with her. There was, a, there was always something about hearing other people say Marie. And, uh, look at John. John was a guy that loved Jesus probably more than, I don't know, he, he, uh, he loved Jesus. He loved Jesus. And Jesus speaking. Somebody wrote down the words, heard it, remembered it, put it down on paper. Jesus says, all that the Father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will by no means turn him away. And it seems to me that as a young person, my mom picked up on that, carried it, went underground. She fights the same battles the rest of us fight. No bitterness, anger, no whatever. What did I ever do to deserve this? Kind of thing. And at the end of her life, she came. She came full circle. She came full circle, and, and uh, we're doing. Here we go. I'm losing track of where faces are here. Sorry. You know, there was there was a day. Thank you. And we're gone on it now. Good. Um, <laughs> and I know that there there was a day, and we we prayed, and we prayed for weeks, and we prayed, and we prayed, and we prayed some more, and. And Jody had a time with, with Mom. And she walked away from that time going, She's good. She's good. She's with Jesus. I know where to find her now. I know where to find her now. She's not lost. You know, it's like, because when we all die, I mean, you know, whatever you believe about that is fine with me. I don't mind. But I, but I, I will tell you what, uh, what I catch to be a reality through many experiences and many, uh, <laughs> yes, I am, many, many dangers, trials, many sins. The reality is, is that we're eternal. We're eternal beings. You, you die, you don't just go into a box. It doesn't happen that way. I, and I will do this and then I'm done. I'll, just, uh, I'll tell you of an experience that I had. It convinced me that I was more than a body. Convinced me that when my body goes into the grave, I live. And here's the experience. I was, uh, I used to have asthma attacks really bad. And, and they weren't anything but attacks. They were attacks. And I remember I was living in the house over here. It gutted the floor. It had grandiose ideas. I knew what I was doing. I never got there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was sitting on the edge, looking looking down into what could have been a basement, it never was. And I had an asthma attack. As I had an asthma attack, I had the most interesting experience. I mean, it was I, I hated I hated asthma. It, it, the thing it, it, uh, it's like someone's got a hand around your throat, starts squeezing, and you can't you can't breathe your entire life on the next breath. It's like you don't think about anything, nothing. There's next breath, next breath. Where's the next breath coming from? So I hated them. Um, all of a sudden, the asthma attack was done. It was over. But then I got my orientation, and I go, I'm looking down, and my body is still having an asthma attack. But I'm not in my body. I'm going just like, what is this? This is different. This is different. So I'm, I'm 
like up towards the ceiling and I'm going, I'm still having a, I go, wait a second, I'm not. My body's having an asthma attack and I'm something different than my body. I'm not just a body. Holy mackerel. I'm going to go on forever and after that, things started clicking. And that, as a matter of fact, I started like a three-year search and I, I, was, I was determined to know what was up with the universe. And I, in my search for that, I, I smoked every drug, I took every pill, I did everything I could to figure that out. I went into every religion, I did what I could to figure that out. Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> and then, then I finally, long story, but I won't tell it. Everything that Jesus says is true. It lines up with my life, it lines up with anyone I've ever spoken to to accept into that realm. If you're out here looking in, you're out here looking in. It's okay. okay. It's good. It's good. But there, so I just want to say, don't stop looking. My mom had something that held her solid. It held her solid. To hell and high water. And I'm done. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.